Hello everybody, welcome to From Milwaukee to Nashville. Um, this is our YouTube exclusive. Uh, we've been promoting on Facebook, well, today. <laughs> yeah, we're going to break down our opinions of all 31 NHL home jerseys. We have them all up in that corner. So bear with us, we will do our best. And do me a favor, you should go over to Hockey Locker. That's our uh, sponsor, Daniel. Uh, check them out, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can get all your hockey needs. Uh, CCM gear, Bauer, Warrior, uh, you name it, they got it. Um, you can also get all your skates, figure skates, referee gear, um, goalie gear, uh, inline skates for uh, roller hockey. Um, you could get uh, pads, uh, you could get mouth guards, you could get skate sharpage, you could, they do it all. Yeah. <laughs> they, I think they even clean gear. So, um, check out our friends over there at Hockey Locker. Um, we thank you for your loyal support. Uh, phone number? Uh, for, you can also call them at 414-800-7585. Or visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. So, first jersey up, we have the Ducks home jersey. Now, these are specifically home jerseys. Um, next week, we'll be dropping a video doing specifically the road jerseys. Um, and then we'll talk about what we're going to do from there. Um, yeah. We'll decide. We what, haven't gotten that far. Yeah, we're, we're going week by week. <laughs> All right. What's so, your opinion of this particular home? I don't mind it. I just don't. Okay, you have the orange sleeves. You could. You don't have to do the orange pin striping on the sides, in the back and in the front. You don't really need. If it was a little more clean, I mean, you're a pro league. You you your jersey's are supposed to look clean and nice and. I don't know. I really don't have an issue with it. But you do see, like in the inseams in the side of the jersey, you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're just trying to add more orange to it. I think they regret making black their primary color in this jersey when they should have probably just went orange. I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's an okay jersey. I'd give it a pass. I mean, okay, so I, I love their alternate more than I love this one personally. Their retro and their jersey. retro from way back, too. I love that as well. This color scheme never really fit well with me. <laughs> yeah, you got sick of the head, too, didn't you? Yeah, it's like messing with the green screen. So. Uh, but yeah, I give it a pass. Barely, but I give it a pass. Next. Coyotes. I, this is another one where this one actually looks like a clean, good-looking jersey. But again, I prefer their alternate, which was actually their original uh, jersey in the first place. Yeah, I, but I, I do enjoy this one. So um, I do like the little the neck design. Um. A lot of teams have been doing that more and more. I've even I even have it on my Badger jersey where it says um um oh uh, it was one of the their slogans for yeah, the yeah. year. So I, I I do like how teams are like doing little inner necklines like in the back. Kind of like how the Predators had the piano keys. Yes. Essentially the same deal. Yep. Um. So I do like that. I I, I like the little artistic touch. Um. Yeah. I do wish they do more with the Coyote logo. There's so much you can do. But yeah, that's make it look well, make but it look that's 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 for another video. Yeah, make it look meaner or vicious, but yeah. it, it looks nice. I give it a pass. Yep. Um. Uh, so up next we have Boston. Classic. Yeah. That's all I gotta say about it. it's classic. Yeah, Boston. Boston. Don't ever mess with Boston. It's I an do... original six. Leave it alone. It's classic. The one thing I do like is the little bear on the shoulder patch. Yeah, and they that, have their alternate with that logo, don't they? Yep, that is really cool. But other than that, as it's you can see, class. we're rocking our favorite like all-time jerseys. I like the black and red Washington Capitals. This ain't my favorite all-time jersey, but I do like the Wild a lot. So yeah, and I'm a big fan of Mr. Ovechkin. Mr. Ovechkin. So we both love Ovechkin. Great player. But yeah, Boston don't change. I love the classic look. I love this jersey too, the Buffalo Sabres. It's a, it's basically a throwback Sabre because they had this before Dominic Hasek, and then they switched over to that one, and now they're back. I do enjoy this one more than I did the one that they had before. Yeah, um, but the, 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 I think you're talking about the, with the same color scheme, not the red and black one, the back in the, the nineties. The it red was the same color scheme, but the logo is completely different. Yeah, that was the, it that like was a the one. Head only. Not yeah, the that one was... that Hasek wore, but the one in between. Okay, yeah. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, yeah uh, this jersey in particular, uh, I do like it. I am. I, I, I have family in Buffalo. Uh, Sabres have a place in my heart, always will. Um, 
Obviously, I'm loyal to Nashville, but... Um, yeah, you know. it's a classic look. Buffalo, please don't change it. I do like, however, uh, uh, this year they got the gold um, uh, commemorating their 50th uh, anniversary as a team. Which is ironic because uh, uh, one of the teams we cover, the Admirals, is going through their 50th and the Milwaukee Brewers for us. Yeah. So it's like we're seeing all that, and it's really cool to be a part of those. Yeah, that's classic. No matter what variation of that C, it just that flaming C on that crest, it, it's a classic look, man. The flames. I always thought that the Scandinavian flag on the far corner yeah. was a nice touch. Yeah. I always thought that that they didn't give enough credit to that, and and I always just thought it was a nice touch. Now they could do a little like a flame burst inside the neck, but that's. But like I said, I love that C. Don't change that logo. I don't care if it's a red C or a black C. Just the whole Calgary Flames logo. I do like the the alternate they have, that yellow and red with the C. Yeah, I do like that. Okay. But I do like this jersey as well. The Jerks. Carolina Hurricanes. It's the same one they've had ever since they came into the league. I get it. It's a hurricane. Um, The one thing, the uh, little pattern um, on the waist... That is a nice touch. Little pattern on yeah. the waist. Okay. And it also matches the one in the neck. So it's really nice touch. Yeah, if you want to look into detail, yeah, it is a nice touch. I mean, it's kind it's of a cool. clean it's jersey. A I mean, it's a clean jersey. Yeah, it's a clean the jersey. Sorry, right. I give it a pass. It's Looks horrible. like a standard hockey jersey. Yeah. All right. Putting I'm, our personal opinion aside. I'm not a fan of the team, but it's a classic, classic. logo. Don't change. Yeah. Classic. They've altered it a bit over the years, as you've noticed, but it's still the same logo. Yep. Uh, what do they call it? What's the name of that logo? Uh, isn't it like Tommy Hawk or some crap like that? Yeah. But yeah, it's a classic look. You can't screw up the original six teams. Up next. I do like that, Colorado Avalanche. Their jerseys are really nice. Um, They're always clean. I'm not a fan of their Stadium Series jerseys that they did. Or their alternate that they use. I'm not a fan of their alternate, but I do enjoy this jersey as well. I, I grew up having a Patrick Waugh jersey of that particular jersey. Yeah, I do like this logo. Um, so, um, just saying that. Next, Dow Stars. <sighs> not a fan. I, I, I mean, I'm not... I missed the one where uh, Marty Turkle was. I, 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 I liked the older, darker jerseys. Yeah, These the one where it like, was like black, where the black was the primary color. The one that uh, Madonna on. Uh, this one almost looks like you're trying to sell me double mint spear gum. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of the logo. I mean, the color scheme stayed the same, but they should have Actually, just, it's gotten lighter. They should go back to the dark. Yeah, they should have just kept the Marty Turkle era jersey. Not a fan. Not a fan. Classic, like I said, you can't mess with the classics. They have and not to mention, I, I even picked a photo with one of the great hockey all time greats, Gordy Howe. Gordy, <laughs> yeah, um, it's a classic look, even though this season they did make some alterations to it. But it's, I, I, I do like the one thing I've always liked about their logo is the little spokes in the in the wheel yeah. in the wing. It just shows that the Motor City is still there. Yeah, I I love it, man. It's a classic. That's a classic look as well. It's I a classic look, look, but I do put... Yep, orange. exactly. I do prefer blue instead of orange, but I see the direction they're trying to go. And it's still a classic look because the Oilers, they've been around for a long time. And they've altered it a little bit, but not major. Please, whatever you do, just don't go back to that Meteor uh, Oiler logo. Yeah, yeah that don't is bad. Do that. That looks alright. I could tell. I that. hate their logo, but like I said, that's for another video. They could do something cooler with the panther part. Yeah. Um, I do like the state flag on the shoulder. I've always loved when you put your, your, your pride in your state and where you're from. Yeah. Yeah. They gotta do something about the jersey crest. Other than that, the color scheme's fine. I have no issue with the white going across the center. I like um, that sheer I don't, red. I don't like the blandness of the back of the jersey you could have made the center stripe go all the way around. around not many teams do that solely because you figure on the back of the jersey it's gonna have players name and number and that kind of gives the back a design yeah that's the logic a lot of teams use all right la kings 
I prefer to alternate. If they're going to use this logo, I prefer to alternate silver. If they really wanted to blow me away, they'd go back to the uh, Wayne Gretzky era. LA With the Kings. purple and black. Nah, just, nah the, the Wayne Gretzky era black and silver logo. Oh, with the with the king crest. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that one. The but one that's sitting alternate. currently in the bottom lower corner of their crest. Yeah. Um, also, still, uh, for <laughs> us, say, I know okay, you guys... But this logo, I prefer the all-silver alternate that they use. Um, for all of you, um, we still wanted to, uh, condolences to... R.P. Uh, Kobe. Yeah, uh, condolences to Kobe and to the L.A. community. And um, all the families that were lost in that tragedy last summer. Yep, um, we, we've said it on a couple of our podcasts now. Um, yeah, we got to throw it out there, man. It was a huge blow for the sports world. All right, next jersey, guys. <laughs> Alright, I'm a big fan of this team, um, obviously. I do like this particular jersey, but they should go back to the one uh, about the era about the era uh, that they had this. Because remember, this was the Wilds alternate. They should go back to the green that they had when they were wearing this. Yeah. Um, I'm not a big fan of the cream. It does look like a Bucks jersey. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of that cream color, but... Yeah, I'll give it a pass because I do enjoy the Wilds uh, crest. I love that logo, the Minnesota Wild logo. It's cool. It's got the forest in the background. It looks like a, a mountain lion type head. I like that logo, but the jersey, they could alter it a bit more. For you know what logo. I realized? It kind of looks like a Tasmanian devil when he's spinning. Yeah. It looks like that. <laughs> You ever now, now that you've seen it, you can't unsee it. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, it's supposed to be like a wildcat type thing, and then obviously you got the moon, and then like the forest and stuff, because you're out in the wild. But All I right, do like this the one, logo, but they this one, the we don't even got to say nothing. Classic. Yep, classic. Can't screw with the Canadians. Nope. Um, this wow. jersey in particular, I've al- price. Yep, I've always liked Montreal's jerseys. I have one. Um, yeah, you do. Yeah, I you have do. a PK Subban jersey, um, and uh, I do like the classic Montreal. Don't mess with it. Yeah, just Please keep it. Don't. Keep it the way you've kept it for you know, se- it seventy is. years or so. Yeah, it's a classic look. I enjoy the classic look. I know how you feel about this jersey. Yeah, so I, I wish the yellow was blue and the blue is yellow. But other than that, the logo is awesome. I like the piano keys on the neckline. Um, let's get that a little bit. Yeah, so you can see up be... in the top there on the neckline, the piano keys. I like it, but they got to switch up the colors. Keep the design, swap the colors. You got yourself a great jersey, Nashville. All right, next. That's a classic. I always enjoyed the Marty Brodeur years, man. He was a great goalie to watch. And but... I always enjoyed the Devils logo, personally. Yep. Um, it's an okay jersey. I, I just don't. There's one thing about it I don't like. El Diablo. <laughs> um, no, actually, it's the white pinstriping in between the black. You don't need it. It's not needed. You could have done a, a, a black line through there, and it would have still looked good. The black pinstripe. I don't know, I'm just okay with the white on the sleeves, because it's just keeping with the fact that, you know, the inner part of the circle, there's like a white to separate the red from the black outline of that circle. All right. I like it. I like it. That's a classic look. Islanders, they've altered that over the years, but they've basically maintained that particular look. Outside of the few years of the 90s. <laughs> yeah, where it looked like uh, the uh, fish stick captain. Yep. I, I, but I, I, do don't like the, I do like their jersey. I wish this part, like right here, was a little cleaner. The, uh, the little blue between the orange, but yeah. outside of that, a great jersey. Yeah, I do like it. <laughs> That's a classic too. Yep, don't mess with it. Rangers classic jersey. They don't have any like errors. When they, when they had the Statue of Liberty for uh, on the front, I thought that was okay. But this is a classic. I wouldn't mess with it. New York, you got yourself a classic jersey. All right, up next, another classic. Yep, can't screw with the Broad Street Bullies. No, good jersey. I do have. Like, I do like how the white connects itself all the way around the jersey. So, I'd say if you swap out the white with black, that would have kind of made it look nicer. And, like, down here, that little white ring, if that was, like, black, because their colors are orange and black, 
But other than that, that's a nice, that's a nice jersey. Keep the numbers white, but I just say add more black to it. I'm partial to black. That's another classic. I'm happy that they scrapped that uh, stupid, uh, uh, what was it, that uh, puke yellow or that really, that almost like a gold or actual gold. I, I personally like the mustard gold. Yep. Other than that, I like the penguin playing hockey. I think it's a cool look. I'm not a big fan of the penguins, but I do like their jerseys. Uh, up next, we should have... I like the old school San Jose Shark one, but this one, they've updated it a couple years ago. The one thing I don't like is why do you... Okay, there is no orange in your logo whatsoever. And you have an orange stripe in your little the little nook right here. Uh, if you look closely, the hockey stick it bites into is like orange. That's like the only connection mm -hmm. with orange. And the eyes are orange. That's it. Yeah, I'm trying to find the orange connection, and there you go. Yeah, that's that's all you got. In I actually have an old school San Jose Shark jersey. It looks way better than that one, but I'll give that one a pass. It's all just right. kind of plain. Maybe the armpits could have been black more. St. Louis, that's a classic. I love it. That's like one of my favorite like jerseys currently. I mean, look at it. There's really nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think at this point with St. Louis, uh, St. Louis has really earned their strike coming going in the last few years. Um, with them finally winning a cup and everything, uh, kind of sticks at our in our craw because. As a as a Predators fan and as a Wild fan, we ain't got ours yet. Yeah, it but. sucks watching a division rival win a cup. But anyways, I, I like their jersey. I I have no issue with their jersey. I have no issue with it. Next. That was better than the original one they had. Yeah, um, the original one I didn't mind it much, but the one I really liked where was the one where the logo was just part of the jersey. And the lightning bolt just kind of went through the jersey. Yeah. That made sense. This one, I it do looks like. It looks plain, but I still like it. Because it looks it's clean. cool when they do it's like clean. an alternate. It's clean when you can do, because there's more you can do with this. It's actually clean, a uh, clean jersey. When you have, like, little stripes here and this and that, you can't really make an alternate of said jersey because it makes it a lot harder. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to fill it with crud. You want to keep it open for interpretation. But I do like the Tampa Bay jersey. Or I should say sweater. Sorry for all you uh, traditionalists. That's a classic, the maple leaves. They altered a leaf a bit here and there, but other than that, it's the same leaf. Um, I actually have their Winter Classic jersey in my, yeah, hockey, and my hockey closet. Or, ha ha, hockey locker. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, the logo, it's a classic logo. I would not mess with it at all, Toronto. Um, outside of us fans who occasionally make the pot leaf joke. Yeah, but other than that, it's classic logo. Just keep it as is. Not every team needs to alter their logo. Speaking of teams who alter their logo, somebody's really been on that a lot over the last 20, 30 years. Well, they've had this logo. They had their uh, shoulder patch as a front crest. They had the black and gold logo, which they're going back to as an alternate. They had the V logo with the little guy skating out of it. They also had the V logo with the Vancouver in it. They had a uh, they had a little skating lumberjack that was also part yeah, of it. I like this one more than a lot of them. I do miss the uh, black one that they're going to be going back to next season with the... Uh, the it's hard to describe that crest. It's yeah, like a but black and silver with red and. Yeah, you could do that with this logo and still be fine. Yeah, this one was an okay one. Also, I like the tribute to the orca whale. Um, well, whalers, it makes sense. Well, the, actually, the orca whale is um, very well popular in in the Vancouver area because they actually do all, most of their mating. I was about to say, on, you got their uh, breeding ground up there. Yeah, so that's actually one of the little cool tributes that they give to nature, and yeah, I like I mean, it. it's an okay jersey, just not the hugest fan outside of the Sedin brothers. I like it. I'll just put it that way, I like it. It's new, it's their only logo, only jersey. Give it time, give it time. I do think they need a new logo, but I'll get it. Like I said, I'll be cr pretty harsh on logos. I, I'm a logo fanatic, so. Yeah, I mean, I'd still buy it, but I got a feeling that they do get an alternate. That gray is going to become, like, gold, and they're just going to flip-flop the colors. It'll look like their season ticket holder jacket. Yeah, which <laughs> I think are actually pretty cool. 
Um, this right here, it's actually, hang on, trying to work on that. There we go. Yeah, this one right here, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is like a, a throwback, because when Ovechkin got drafted, they had like the uh, Capitol building on, on their crest. And then they switched it up to a different logo, which was like the bald eagle with the uh, stars and stripes shooting out the back end. And then it went back to this one, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a throwback from a couple logos ago. No, um, this is the the logo that they remade. The original logo yeah. was just a it, it just said capitals on the front of it. It didn't have like any kind of like. It hockey. didn't have the hockey stick for the L. No, it didn't have any kind of that. It didn't have the stars. It didn't say Washington. It just said capitals. But I do like this particular uh, jersey. I like it, and it opens them up to be able to alter it if they want to do like an alternate. Correct. And final. Already? Yeah. Wow. Did we do Columbus yet? Yeah. The Columbus Blue Jackets. No, we did not. Uh, um, I'll go find that real quick. Uh, but you can talk about the Jets. I went to pick. I don't know. It's just kind of playing. I, I personally, I think that logo is uh, pretty plain. Uh, didn't, don't see yeah, it. Yeah. Um, ah, there you are. All right, now we found our one that we need. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty plain. Uh, not our last one is the Columbus Blue Jackets. I actually like it. I like it. It's better than the shoulder patch that they used to put on the front of their jerseys with the cannon. Yeah, I'd say this is the better uh, crest. That uh, Winnipeg Jets one, I mean, I get it. Somebody from Wisconsin came up with the idea for it, but I personally not a fan of it. This one I do enjoy. Um, I do like it. I like the stars on the, going down the sleeve. Um, I can see them kind of like right in the corner there. Yeah. But um, let's get back to Winnipeg because I didn't get to really have yeah, an input. Yeah, what's your opinion on it? Okay, so the Winnipeg Jets jerseys look a lot like the Man the Manitoba Moose jerseys. Which Makes sense because they play in the same building. And are owned by the same owner. Yeah. And play, have the same affiliates. So, anyway. And the same mascot. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Um, so I do like the shoulder patch. It is a jet uh, with a Canadian uh, flag on it. Yeah. A oh, really nice touch. Um, I would also like to thank the wonderful folks for Fanatics for all of our photos. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like I said, it, it's okay. It's okay. I was never a huge, huge fan, but I do prefer this one more than that Canon. I agree with that one. All right. So That's hopefully been all of them. I hope we didn't miss any. Um, so next week... Uh, most likely Wednesday or Thursday, we'll be dropping another video just like this, doing the road jerseys. Yeah, which is, eh, it should be a bit different. Yeah. Um, and then we're uh, gonna try to do these like once a week. You know, go change the pace, give it a YouTube exclusive. Yep. And then um, we're also gonna be dropping YouTube exclusives anytime something like really major breaks on the news. We're gonna do a little video for them. Yeah. And uh, give some info. So. Uh, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. Don't forget to check out our friends over there at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue. You can give them a call at 414-800-7585 or visit HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Tell you, them that we sent you, but if you don't spend money, we don't know you. Also, um, you could go there to get all your hockey needs. Thanks, See everybody. You guys.